<laughs> Do you know what it is? I'll be real. Um, without any means of disrespect, I'm just I follow my own means. I take I take like me personally. I take yeah. like influences from everyone's opinions uh, in a sense of whatever your beliefs are compared to mine. It's like I respect you for your beliefs, but I'm more of like a I have to see it to believe it kind of guy. Mm. And even then, I'm still skeptic. Can you see the air you breathe? The, the no. air that you breathe. No. Yeah. Do you believe in God? No, I'm not. I'm not. So that's too much for you. I'm not. A, I'm not. Do you think it makes God. sense that there's no God? <laughs> Deep I've, down, be I've, honest. If I'm real, I'm be very. I'll be very real. Yeah. There's no reason for there not to be. There's not Excellent. like I don't. I don't think because you believe in God that makes you like. You, do you know what I mean? It's not that. It's like no one knows nothing. So for someone to believe in something, it's can not. I, can I give you some know. evidence of God? You can give me what? Yeah. Lewis, the very fact you're standing in front of me having a conversation with me, mm -hmm. it's a proof that there's a creator. Right. Did you ever think of that? Did you ever see yourself as an evidence for God? Nah. Why not? Do you know what it is? It's because it's in, in real levels, I don't know what to believe. I just go about my day, do my thing. Yeah. I don't really think into where I come from or where mm -hmm. anything comes from. Just get my stuff it's done. It's shallow though, don't you see? It is. I'm sorry, I don't no, mean no, to be no, disrespectful. No, it's, oh, no it's, not, it's not at all. It's, do you know what it is? I'm it, a bit of it. I just say it how it is. No, that, I wear my I'm heart the same. on my sleeve. I'm the same. I'm the same. My, my, bro, my brother's Muslim, which is why I learned a few little bits here and there. I don't know everything. I don't know. I, I don't claim to know anything. But it's seeing him a Muslim and praying and being like true to his faith. How does that make you feel? A lot of my friends are Muslim as well. Do you know what it is? It's it's inspirational in certain senses for me because it's like you've got such a strong belief of something and you're so passionate about it. Just like I am with my career, and it's like I can respect that because Do you I'm think very... you're enslaved to your career. No, because I I don't I don't have to be where I am. I choose to be where I am because yeah. I love what I do. Yeah, but you do it because you get paid for it. No, I don't. Would you do it anyway? Okay. So I, the, the career I'm in right now, I'm not getting paid for. Okay, okay. The, the means that I make to money are just based off of opportunities that I get. So. I understand. I understand. Because there's a verse that came into my head. Allah says in the Quran, some people are actually slaves to their own desires. Some people are slaves to their paycheck. Some people are slaves to women. Yeah? We believe as Muslims, we're slaves to Allah. Mm. The one true creator. Now, let me ask you a question, right? Yeah. That bottle you're holding. Yeah. If I came to you and I said, look, that bottle with the lid and the screw and the label and the writing and everything and the ribbed bits and this and the, yeah. and the mountain inside here. and if, it, if I said to you, look, Lewis, it just popped into existence. Like, I was walking in the Sahara Desert one day where there's plenty of oil that comes out of the ground, there's sun that shines, there's rain that comes down, maybe a, so a, a sandstorm. And over billions and billions of years, this bottle, Evian and everything, 1.5 litre, footprint, Wimbledon, it just popped into existence. And I was just there and I just picked it up and had a sip. Would you believe me? No. No. Okay, so now apply that principle to your human being self, mm. right? Your eyes are over 250 megapixels. Mm -hmm. You see in 3D. Yeah. You've got eyebrows covering your eyes so that when your forehead sweats, the, 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 salty, for, um, the salty sweat from your forehead doesn't go into your eye and damage your vision. Yeah. Yeah? Your nose sits right above your mouth so you can smell the food before you eat it. Yep. Your ears are perfectly positioned for you to have spatial 3D surround sound, yeah. right? Every part of your body indicates that it was designed. Yeah. So what part of you and your logic believe that you were not designed? Well, I, this is the thing. I don't believe that I wasn't designed and I don't believe I was designed. I'm just like... No, no, but you can't, I, you can't just sit on the fence for the rest of your life. No, it, it, but that's how I do it because I... Do you know what it is? It, it prevents arguments. No, no, but it's I'm not, not about arguments. Reason, reason, look, look, I know, if I the, came to the, you no, right the now... The reason why I say it... Put sorry, it go on. You, you, you I've, I've had enough conversations about topics mm -hmm. like this mm -hmm. when it comes to, to beliefs, when it comes to, uh, to racism, mm -hmm. when it comes to people's just like opinions of things. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I choose to stay away from it 
is because I'm I'm a firm believer of I have love for everyone. Yeah. I don't have no disrespect for no one. If I no, you, know you know seem I mean? like a you seem I'm, like a I'm, genuine yeah, I'm guy. Not, I'm not I'm that not, guy. I'm, I'm yeah. more of like I, I do my own means. I keep to myself. Yeah. I spread love. Yeah. Part of what I do as a, as as an artist, as a, as a singer, is, is I spread love with my my, my lyrics, my words, nice. and I, I use it to nice. no, no, just to, just to depict my pain. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and I hope that it helps someone else. Okay. So when it comes to religion or it comes to any sort of these sort of conversations, you shy away. From I shy away from it, but it's only because there's okay. certain people out there when you're having conversations with them, not unlike yourself, because you seem very open-minded. That aren't. Thank you. So it's just like. For instance, I'm a Christian. Yeah. Why are you Christian? Yeah. You're bad you're for not being Christian. No, no, no. Yeah. Go to hell. Do you know what I mean? That's that I don't respect. I, I believe. You know I, mean? I believe that Allah, God, the Creator of the heavens and the earth, has given mankind guidance from the very start. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's mankind that chose to turn away from the guidance. Mm -hmm. Right. I can't force you. There's a verse in the Quran. Allah says in the Quran, La ikraha fid deen. Yeah? In the religion there is no compulsion. I can't put a gun to your head and say, bruv, you've got to become a Muslim right now. What I can do though is humbly, respectfully, we're having a conversation, not a debate, not an argument. We're having a nice discussion. Yeah. Human being to human being. Yeah, brother to brother. We're all sons of Adam, I believe. So you're my brother in that sense. That I can show you my evidences. Yeah? Now my evidence is this. Look. My brother, respectfully speaking, yeah? what you've said to me, what you've said to me is kind of like, it's like this, look, if I came to you and I said, look, Lewis, 5 plus 5 is 15, and everybody's around you saying 5 plus 5 is 15, 5 plus 5 is 15, now in your heart of hearts, you know, that's not true, that's not true, it's physically impossible for 5, plus 5 to be, to be 15 in any which way you look at it and then all of a sudden a Muslim comes to you this brother comes to you and says Lewis look bruv 5 plus 5 is actually 10 are you going to accept the truth or are you going to say no 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 I'm just going to do my way like I don't want to argue I don't want to you're going to be like you're true. Listen you know what, bruv? You got a point. I respect that. I respect. I respect that your mind's going with this. You're a very smart man. I no, I'm not. That. I'm not. I wish I I'm, was. I'm. No, no. But answer the question first. Be Before you no, give no, me something I'm else. Not, I'm not. That's. Would you accept it? I, oh, of course I would. Excellent. But I'm. Logic. Facts. Excellent. Give you a. Excellent. Like, I like logic. If I stood on your foot and you yes. said, "Ow," you're yes. gonna look. I, I, I like. I like logic you know, and facts. I know that. Yeah. I, that's what I love. If I'm if I'm as, as honest as I can be, I yeah. just don't care. Really? Like, and I know that sounds bad or it sounds like like right, I just don't care. I'm I'm a I just wanna get on with my day and get my stuff done. I don't yeah. look into these things because they don't Okay. It's not something I wanna ponder on. Do you okay. know what I mean? It, because I don't know. I don't wanna know. I don't I don't involve Why? myself. It's just not I don't have any interest in it. Yeah. It's like put it this way. It's like put it this way. It's like if you, you had a, a son, you, it's like you being a truck driver and me yeah. being a footballer. Yeah. But you're you don't your, like football. Yeah. I don't have any enjoyment in football. Yeah, 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 and yeah. you don't have any yeah. enjoyment in being a truck driver. Yeah. But we both enjoy what we do. Right. And me just being myself, I just I don't know. It's just never something that's lightened in my okay, head. Me... Both my parents are religious, but I've never seen the 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 interest. Benefit. Yeah, but I've never seen the interest in, without being disrespectful here, but I've never seen the interest. Oh, there's no disrespect. Yeah. Go, just Appreciate feel free. No, but I've, I've, I've never found the interest in following something mm. where you have to lead your life by rules mm. and lead your life mm. by, because I'm a- I've But you got, already are. I know, but I've got very high morals. I'm a very, I'm a very, I, I love people. I'm yeah. always hoping. I'm yeah. always being a part of being a, the best person I can be to shed light, be the, be the thing you want to see in the world. Do you okay. know what I mean? I'm always firm on that. Let me come in here. But Lewis, when yeah? it comes to religion I just feel like it's too much I don't want to have to feel There's like that two things I, mean? I want to touch on yeah first one is morals yeah and the second one is rules yeah so let me start with rules actually mm -hmm. so the, what you said that you don't like following rules necessarily yeah. right yeah. now I'm like that as well you can ask him mm -hmm. like he'll ask me to do something I'll be like I'll just sit there and be like nah. and like, why not I just don't want to do it yeah yeah, yeah yeah and it drives him crazy sometimes but what I want to ask yeah, yeah. you is you're already following rules. 
Does that make sense? Did you choose to be a white man with blue eyes? No. They are blue, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did you choose to be a white man with blue eyes? No. Did you choose to be six foot one tall? No. You didn't, did you? Did you choose to have a ginger beard? No. You didn't choose Wish any of these. That. You followed the will of your creator. Whether you choose to accept him or not, you already follow. As soon as you wake up, all night you're breathing. This is you following the rules of your creator. Why do you keep blinking? Why do you keep blinking? Because the, the creator made a rule in your cells and your biology and he hardwired it into you that you have to follow those rules. Whether you like it or not. Now you can say to me, I'm going to stop following those rules, bruv. I'm going to say, well, you're, you're, you're being stupid. You're being stupid because you're going to die. If you stop, if you stop breathing, you're just going to die. Like, no, 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 I'm not following the rules, bro. No, I'm not having it. I don't want to follow rules. Well, stop breathing then, bro. Stop blinking then. Do you feel me? Do you see where I'm going? You. Right. I do get Excellent. you. Now, the second thing I want to touch on, that was the first thing, right? That was rules. The second thing I want to touch on is morals. Where do you derive your morals from? Where do you get your morals? Do, do you believe you have a... Everyone should have a subjective morality? No, I believe that within everyone there should be a sense of understanding. Yeah, so everyone's got a subjective morality. Yeah, I, be I believe that everyone should have a, as a human being, have the general sense of understanding. To see that, say a man sleeping in the street in the rain. So standard, yeah. My standard human practice would be either go and buy him a blanket or give him something. Okay, Take so would it be fair for, let's say for example, you've got, you've got your own set of morals and beliefs, yeah, yeah. and then he's got his own set of morals and beliefs yeah and then he's got another his own set of morals do you believe that that's just you know everyone's got their own subject subjective morality to live yeah, right. by yeah, yeah, and you know I, I guess, I guess uh, well yeah everyone believes what they want right so. let me tell you something what you just said to me tells me you have no morals why think about it if everybody had your way of thinking yeah and said i've got my morals Mm -hmm. I'm going to live by my own principles. Yeah. And everybody did that. Essentially, there would be no principles. I get it. Digest I get, it. Digest I get, it. I know, I, I know what you're saying. But for me... Man's got bars, bro. <laughs> Man's got bars, no, bro. For me, what Hitting I'm, them up. What I'm <laughs> trying to say, right, yeah. is I had to learn that no one thinks the same. And I had to learn from, from experiences that no one thinks the same. Yeah. In my mind, I wish that everybody had a sense of understand it except Islam but I don't believe that everyone does except Islam it's not me bro it's not a bit of me it's not a bit you know, of me you know, bro. let me tell you something yeah let me give you a very very let me give you a couple of minute breakdown and then you can you can after that I'll let you go yeah as Muslims we believe there's one creator right of that creator there's no image yeah. there's no form yeah. we don't know what it is it's an energy the almighty, the all-powerful, the all-knowing, the all-wise, yeah? Actually, before you forward, that's, I, sh on, I should have said that. Go on, eh? I believe in energy. I'm a very strong believer Excellent. in energy. Excellent. When I walk into a room and project what I give as a human being, yes. that's what I don't expect back, but that's what I... You, you're, yeah, yeah, you believe, accept. You be, okay. I believe in energy. Excellent. I can't say to you, because it would be, it would be false, yeah. I can't say to you that I don't believe there is an energy. Ah, now we're going Because somewhere. that's not what I'm talking Excellent. about. I just, I just believe that, that okay. whatever people choose to believe is their own thing. I okay. live my life by my own means. Okay, I don't want to... Let's go, with, let's go, let's follow that through to its logical conclusion. You believe there's some form of energy out there, right? Excellent. If I had a cup of tea, yeah. a teacup, a tea bag, yeah. a spoon of sugar, yeah. a kettle, and I had all the ingredients to make what? A proper English cuppa. Yeah? That teacup and the tea bag and the kettle sat there. Yeah. And a billion years passed. Would there ever be a cup of tea made? Uh, say that again. So we've got a table with a cup, yeah. a tea bag, yeah. some sugar, milk, yeah. and hot wa and water, and yeah. a kettle. Yeah. Would there ever be a cup of tea made if we left it there for a million, a billion years? No. Never. No. Why? Because there's no one left to make a cup of tea. Thank you. So in the same way, when the Big Bang happened, yeah. yeah 
however it happened. Do you believe in the, in the Big Bang Theory? Yeah, of course. Uh, for some reason in my mind, from what I've heard, religion don't believe in the no, Big no, Bang you're, Theory. You're, you're superimposing Christianity onto Islam. Okay. Right. The Quran actually speaks about the expanding universe. Okay. Right? It's one of the miracles of the Quran. That it says we made this universe expanding. Okay. And scientists over 50 years ago, they actually looked out into the atmosphere and they said that there is like a blue tinge to the to the atmosphere. Okay. And what that indicates is that it's expanding. Okay. Right? Now this is something that a man in the desert 1400 years ago was re was given revelation from his creator, right? Who we believe is almighty. Yeah. All knowing, all wise, all powerful, all energy, yeah. all loving, yeah, all hearing, all seeing. These are all attributes of the Creator. We don't call him a man. There is nothing like unto him. Okay. Yeah. Anything you can think of with our uh, defective human minds is not him. Is not God. Is not a Creator. We can't call that God. A man in the sky with a with a white thobe and um, uh, blonde hair and blue eyes. That's, that's not yeah, our that's image a, of God. That's a media. We don't believe yeah. Jesus is part of that God. Yeah. We believe that God is. You call Jesus Isa? Is it Isa? Isa. Right. So that is why I'm saying to you, the Big Bang, for it to happen, right? Just like that cup of tea would never get made. There has to be for that to Big Bang to actually start, there had to be somebody who willed it to start and without that will um, Lewis yeah. there, sorry. without that will Lewis that would never have actually started there's are you following away. right so that creator why that creator over years and time and throughout you know from the start of the universe to now yeah. that creator found it befitting right found it befitting to send his creation some form of guidance some rules to live by right because humbly speaking respectfully speaking had human beings been left to their own devices they would have destroyed themselves they would have just and we're seeing that today right you see an LGBTQ2 movement right now it's gone to uh, animal dysphoria so people can do you know what no do you know what it is with all this is this is why I don't talk about this stuff I'm with 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 anything to do with like the new social like social medias or like um, the LGBT community yep leave them to the devices uh, the way I say if they're happy no but the problem is now I'm just keep no but the problem is now the next thing coming and it's already been released and I saw this uh, last week I said it a year ago yeah. there's something called um, MAP and they want inclusion into the LGBTQT plus I'm confused MAP are called minor attracted persons right pedophiles now are coming out to say it's not our fault love is love we love children we want to be inclusive God, in, the name of what? in the name of what God yeah you know like that that saying on a sinking ship there's no atheists because yeah. when that plane's coming down or when that sink starts to rock everyone even the atheist oh God yeah, yeah, yeah? yeah. so deep down bro it's hardwired in your soul in your heart you know there's a bigger there's a there's a power above you there is a power above you and it's in your heart you just haven't realized it yet yeah look mankind needs guidance no look, I'll, I'll tell you that. what five ills five, five ills of society drugs yeah. alcohol yeah. gambling yes. sexual immorality yeah. and interest Interest, usury, the banking system. Oh yes, 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 true. Yes. Making you take a mortgage and then for the next forty you years of yeah. your life to pay back for a house that when you turn sixty-five you'll own. Yeah, and then it goes back when you die. This is enslavement, right? These five ills of society have killed us. Yeah, these five ills of society are killing us. You only need to take a trip out to any city centre on a Friday or Saturday night or visit the A&E department. Yeah? You'll see thousands and thousands and thousands of people going in and out. You've seen it in your life, right? I'm born and bred here, brother. Yeah? I've seen that life. I've seen it and I've seen what it does to people. What alcohol does to people, what drugs does to people. Gambling, one of the biggest causes of male suicide and one of the biggest causes of divorce within households. So now you've got kids growing up without their father, without both their parents present, right? Because of gambling, yep. because of alcohol. So what does Islam say? 
Anything Islam tells you to stay away from, there's a benefit in it. And anything Islam tells you to do, sorry, anything Islam tells you to stay away from, there is, uh, um, oh, what's the word? It's got mind blank there. Yeah. There's, there's, there's problems within yeah, those yeah, things. Of course, of course. And anything know, Islam tells you to do has benefits for you. I know. Right. So now I'm saying to you, Lewis. Right. You believe that there's some form of energy. I believe. That I believe of an energy. A higher I believe power. Of an energy. Yeah. I wouldn't put a name on it though. Okay, that's fine. Do you believe it makes sense that if there was a higher being of some sort? That that higher being would give us some kind of groundwork to live I by. I believe, um, um, this is a very funky way of saying Sorry, it, but I believe with every built creation comes an instruction manual. Excellent. So I also believe if human beings were created as in your image they were, that they would come with some form of instruction manual. So, so we I, believe I understand that. you're actually on the same belief as a Muslim right now. Because we believe from the start, God sent down instruction manuals. So God sent down to Abraham manuscripts. God sent not manuscripts, sorry, revelation. Yeah, yeah, God yeah. sent down to Moses the scriptures. Yeah, the Torah, the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. What was the first commandment? No idea. Thou thou shalt not associate partners to God. Thou shalt not worship. Thou shalt not worship any other god except me. Okay. Right? Yeah. Second commandment was, Thou shalt not make images of that god. Right. Right. Do you mean give him a face? Yeah. Give him a, give him a vision? Right. Idols. Because Idols. Idols. It, it tempts people to fit believe Thank you. Okay, now what happened? The Jews, they went away from that scripture. They disobeyed the laws of God. So what did God do? The Creator. He sent Jesus. Jesus came with the New Testament, the Gospel, and He guided the people back. He said, look, this is the command. And He said, I have not come for anyone but the lost sheep of Israel. Yeah? I have come not to abolish the commandments of the, uh, the, the commandments. Yeah. I've come to fulfill them. Yeah. Meaning what? Jesus was a Jew. He was on the same path as Moses. Okay. Because if there's one creator, they all have to be on the same path. Mm. Which we believe as Muslims they were. The Christians, what did they do? They took that same scripture and they went away from it. They started associating partners to God. They started saying, no, God is not one, He's three. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. They're not, they're not, all three are one. Yeah? So what did God do? He sent the Old Testament, He sent the New Testament. Right here, my brother, is we have the final testament. Mm -hmm. Now, at the time of Moses, at the time of Moses, God, the Creator, gave Moses the ability to do certain miracles, like parting the sea. Yeah. I believe that as a Muslim, because it's in, in my book. God gave Jesus, the Creator gave Jesus certain abilities to carry out certain miracles. Yeah. Right? I believe that because it's in my scripture. If I came to you today, Lewis, and I said believe in Moses and Jesus because they did miracles, you and me both know you're going to be like, nah, I didn't see those miracles. How do I know they actually happened? How do I know it's not just some fairy tale, right? And rightfully so, rightfully so. As Muslims, we don't come with that. Our lyrics are different. Our lyrics are totally different. You know what the Quran says? The Quran says, find the truth. Open your eyes and seek knowledge. Go and learn. Use your rationality that God's given you. Use your logic that God's given you. Use your intellect to find your way to the Creator. And this Quran has its own litmus test. Do you remember what litmus tests are in science from school, no? Litmus test. If I'm honest, this is when I was trying to explain to you as well, where I say, I just live and let live. Yeah. I'm on a path right now, which I try not to steer from before I see a goal. Which is why, that's cool. if, I feel, if, you, if it feels like I don't know nothing, I'm not looking into it. No, no, that's fine, that's fine. But just remember, just remember, the reason, and I'll conclude with this, the reason why, unless you've got any other questions, the reason why one of the most hated things to the Creator is associating partners to Him, or not knowing Him, is why. Imagine your mum. Yep raised you for 21 one years of your life. 
She fed you as a child. She changed your nappies, nursed you when you were ill, cleaned your nose up. Your dad provided for you, gave a roof over your head, bought food on the table. However, it's yeah, it's subject to what, it's yeah, subject to you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Your mum done all of this for you, right? And then, at 21 years old, you come home with some other woman and say, Mum, yeah. I'm not going to call you Mum anymore. I'm going to call her Mum. She's my Mum. How was your Mum feel? Yeah, yeah, imagine. Right? Imagine. Right. Imagine, instead of bringing another woman and saying you're going to call her Mum, you say, Mum, you're not my mum anymore, and you've done nothing for me. How's she gonna feel? Bam! Headbutt. Yeah? Now, imagine the one who created your mum, and created you, and gave you, to this day you're breathing for free, no charge. You've never been hungry in your life, never been starving to the extent of death. You're, you've never been without water, you've never been without air. You've, you've got your faculties, you've got two li you've got four limbs, you've got two legs and two arms and so on and so forth. Imagine that creator says to you, look, all I want you to do is acknowledge me. Acknowledge me and give thanks to me. Is that not worse than what you would do to your mum? I get it. I get it. I do get it. My my acknowledgement of any of this is all out of respect. I appreciate you giving me a time. As no, well. no, I appreciate because likewise, this to me man. is knowledge. I quite it's knowledge, and it's a knowledge that I appreciate. But I'm always looking to understand. I think what you'll find is the more you look into Islam, the more you realise it actually agrees with your beliefs. Do you know what it is? It's not. And I, do you know what it is? Out of out of every religion thing I've spoken about when it comes to religion. A lot of my friends are Muslim, and they've like told me about it. A lot of what I've heard and what has been uh, explained is very similar to what I think. But the only reason why I don't put a label on what I believe is because I choose to live my life by my own means. Whether that be, but we've already we've already established know, that's not whether, true. Whether whether yeah, but whether that's seen as what it is or what it is, it's not true though. Like, I've, I've already explained you, bro. You have. Come on, man. In my, you didn't choose to be ginger, bro. You didn't choose to be ginger. But within you know my own state, I, I wouldn't put a label on it. That's yeah. how I live my life. You be, like, do, you, do you get my point, though? I know what you, you mean. Get, you didn't choose these that. things. I know. I yeah, know. You didn't choose them. I understand So to say that. now, I'm going to live my way only, right? We are kind of already but then in my mind, to it. give myself up to an entire belief system. Yeah, yeah. It's a big step. It's a I, very I get big it. step. I get it. But it's also, it takes, oh, to me, as how yeah. it feels, it takes my, my control over my life away from me. No. Because I'm submitting to a belief yeah. rather than what I actually you're, believe. You're submitting, you're submitting to that. Which gave you everything you have. That's what you're submitting to. You're submitting to the power that matches no, that right that no power on this universe can rival. That's what you're submitting to. Yeah? You're submitting to the one who created you and fashioned you in perfect form. Yeah? And he will continue to provide for you until you die. Yeah? But the reality of life, the one thing that you're guaranteed, or two, one's taxes. Yeah? The other one is. Tell you that straight. The other one is. Yeah. Everyone's guaranteed. Every soul will taste death. Yeah? And you will be resurrected, whether you like it or not. You will. You will. Easy. Where's the fire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will, you will right, be raised, raised, risen again from your grave. You will stand in front of your Creator one day, and that is the ultimate justice. And I know that sits well with you because there's people in this world who've got away with a lot, and it's unfair that they get away with that and don't get recompensed for their evil. Yeah, there's evil people out here who have not been punished, even if you look at the modern day um, penal code, yeah? the way people are punished for their crimes, the, the, the criminal justice system, there's no justice. No. There's I no agree. justice. I agree. I agree. Yeah? But Islam, oh here's another thing you'll probably agree with, if you steal, you're not poor, you're not starving, you don't have any mental illnesses, and you decide to go and steal something, chop your hand off. 
Mm. In public? Mm. And let people see it? That's mad. Yeah, but how many people are going to see it? I get that, but that is that. <laughs> okay, okay, you're a rapist. Not, not you. I'm not, let's say there's a, no, 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 no. I, don't, I don't mean you. I mean there's someone who's a rapist. Yeah, yeah. Right. What should his punishment be? Seven years in prison. I get three that. and a half I out. Get it. Yeah, is that I, fair? I, no, no. I, I, I what about the child you. that he raped? Yeah, it's just, it, it's the way I see it. Right? Is why? If that yeah, yeah. Evil, put it this way, I'm, let me let me think this into existence. So yeah, I, don't sound I like it. I like right? it. It's good. It's good. So you say there's a creator yes. who is all forgiving, yes. all knowing, yes. all loving. Yes. Why would he want to inflict pain upon his creation? Right. By making another one of his creations hurt another. Right. And call that punishment. Yeah. That to me sounds barbaric. No. You see, you've got. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah khair for tuning in. We hope you're enjoying this video and benefiting from it. Something that's come to our attention, what we've noticed is nearly 90% of our viewers are not subscribed to this channel. We want to make you guys aware that One True Message Foundation is completely non for profit. We are a non profit organization and subsequently we've turned off all advertising on YouTube. What we need you guys to do is share the khair with us. Subscribe, like, and share this video to anybody else that you think may benefit. A small action, but we want you guys to share the reward and help spread the one true message. Jazakumullah khair, brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, okay. Poor, yeah, um, mentally insane. Yeah. There's no reason for you to steal. Okay, fair. And fair. you've just gone in there and to, cause, to cause just corruption, yeah, like cool. they do nowadays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Robbing and looting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah? I, 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 yeah for yeah. that, for that, you get caught. Yeah. Is this in is this in Islamic countries? Is what you mean? In some Islamic countries, they still implement it. Okay. And shall I tell you what? There's, there's no crime. There's no crime. So they did, but you in know Dubai, I, I was in. The, I know. Don't you didn't even need to tell me nothing about Dubai? I've been there. I've my seen friend. it all. My I've friend. seen it all. I know Dubai. Yeah, my thing. <laughs> You can, leave your key you can leave your and car anywhere, yeah. anywhere. No. Go There's a funny story. Well, uh, a friend of a friend, he went to Dubai yeah. and he went to work. And on his way to work, he went into a building and he left his laptop in the lift, yeah. in the elevator. I stayed there. Right? And he went to work, got to the office, and he said to his uh, colleague, he was like, Oh, I left my laptop. He was like, Do you want to go and get it? Or should I call the thing and I'll tell them to. He said, like, No, no, I'll get it on my home. <laughs> and he went home the same way. And the, the, the laptop bag was exactly where he left it. Oh. Yeah. Why? Because people have a fear. Yeah. A Look, fear of if that I, bro, if, yeah. I, if I steal here, I don't care. I'll probably get a, get a caution. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I get. I get it. I get I know exactly you get what it. you're saying. And Lewis, the more you look into Islam, the more you will get it. The yeah. more you will think that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, there's a reason that there's a reason that people like Andrew Tate and Sneeko and these people who've got like billions and billions of pounds. Like they have no need for nothing. Yeah? From a material perspective. Yeah. They've accepted Islam. Right? Why? Yeah. There's a reason why these high status celebrities the difference. like Al and Andrew and uh, Alex Pereira, UFC fighter. Yep. Yeah. Um, the what's his name? Sonny Bill Williams. Mm -hmm. I think he was a rugby player from uh, Australia. Right? Accepted Islam. Like these guys had fame, they had money, they had status, they had all these things. But you know what they did? When they looked into Islam, they were like can't really disagree. In certain, in certain, in certain names that you've mentioned there, I feel like those beliefs that they've taken were to take cause away from the issues they were causing. But in some certain respects, I believe. It. Yeah, I mean, it, it just like somebody said to me once, "Oh, Tate only became Muslim because he can have four wives." Because Islam allows you to have four wives. And I said, hold on a minute, you've got a guy who had endless number of women. And for him to accept, no sense, yeah. accept a religion which is going to restrict, I mean, he could have probably had a different woman for the rest of his life. Yeah. Yeah, with the amount of money he's got. Yeah. But he's restricted himself to four by accepting Islam. How does that make sense? No, it, don't make it doesn't. Sense. Yeah? So anybody, and this is the life of the Prophet Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Peace be upon him. Alayhi salatu wasalam. He was offered wealth. He was offered power. He was offered all these things in the desert of Arabia, 1,400 years. He said, I don't want it. Yeah. I'm not here for that. I'm just here to convey my message. Yeah. The message of my creator. Yeah. Yeah. He was offered all these things. He didn't want it. He slept on a, on a straw mat like that one. Yeah. The prophet of God, the messenger of the creator. Yeah. He said, I don't need it. And then there's the prophet, brother. 
Where's the tallest building in the world? Dubai. You know the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said 1,400 years ago, there will come a time when the barefoot Bedouin Arabs will compete to build high buildings, tall buildings. Dubai 50 years ago was a desert. I know. You look at pictures of, of maps of Dubai, there was nothing there. Right? And it wasn't even said as like a, a praiseworthy thing. It was just something that they would do. Where's the second largest building in the world? No idea. Saudi Arabia competing to build it with Dubai. Right? That's how you know my geography is terrible. No, no. Look, the, the point of the matter is the Prophet Muhammad, he came with so many prophecies. Yeah. He came with so many things like that would make like the Quran is filled with science. Yeah. It talks about embryology, it talks about the expanding universe, yeah. it talks about oceanography, yeah. science, uh, Egyptology, yeah. astronomy, astrology. That any ology you can think of, the Quran has information about it and it tells you about it. Yeah. So now when you look at all of these things put together, you put all of these things in, when you start looking into it, you're it's like, how much am I going to deny? Yeah. How much? Like, Josh, mashallah, he, he's a river. He accepted Islam ten years ago. Yeah. Ten years ago, you know, English, um, and and found the truth in it. You know, and there's millions of people. There's a reason why. Do you why know what, my brother? In in any instance, because I am going to have to run. No, no, that's, no, cool, that's cool. I that's need cool. to get into that shop over there before it closes. My brothers, all love and respect. Let me give you I, a gift yeah, for you. I, I though, appreciate yeah? any of this because I take it as knowledge and I take in it as wisdom. So I appreciate. Brown cardboard box. No problem, brother. Black collar. In anything, if it ever comes from me, for whatever it be, you know it's always love. No, always no, bro, love. I've had an absolutely always amazing love. discussion with you. Yeah. Let me give you a, let me give you a small gift. Name, Lewis, Josh. Oh, I love you. Yeah. It's here, look. You got the beard already, bro. Look, look, it's, all, it's, all, look, it's already there, Lewis. I'm the Arabic. Lewis. Listen, yeah. I haven't, but it's not come yet. It's still small. <laughs> Hold that for me, please. You want to get the argan oil, you know, the yeah. Moroccan argan oil. It don't work. I'm trying everything. Genetics, bro. Genetics. Nah, yeah, it's long. Listen. My dad has a farmer's <laughs> beard, though, bro. Mad long. Lewis. And my brother's Muslim. It's down here. I ain't got it. Oh, is your brother Muslim? brother's Muslim, brother's man. Muslim. Yeah. No way, bro. Yeah. He uh, converted in jail. MashaAllah, yeah. MashaAllah. A lot so, of brothers do. Yeah. This is a book just it's written by another brother who accepted Islam about 40 years ago. Okay. Probably before me and you were born. Um, you know, this is probably gonna be the first book I ever read. Make it Please read it, bro. No, do you know what it is? I will, and the only reason why it is, is It's called the man in the red underpants. I don't like <laughs> I don't like you gotta read my it. phone no more, bro. No, 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 no. I'm all about this man. I'm all about this. And then uh, this is a gift for you as well. What's this? I want you to start at the appendices. Is this in English? Yes, all in English. Every chapter has an, a bit of a brief description about the chapter of the Quran. Another question without being disrespectful. Yeah, yeah. I know in Arabic you've got to read back to front. No, no, it's English, English, pure English, yeah? I want you to start at the appendices. It goes through why the Quran's been preserved. Yeah. It goes through the scientific miracles. Yeah. It goes about the origins of the universe, the Big Bang Theory, yeah. the sun and the moon, embryology, the seas and rivers, yeah. so on and so forth. Yeah. Yeah. Human embryonic development. Yeah. And then it goes through into this how this sounds like a mad, mad thing. Women in Islam. Miracles that the Prophet peace be upon him performed. I didn't know this was all in the Quran. For me, right, and this is my, me being ignorant, if you will. My beliefs when it comes to religion, ignorance is not bliss. Nah, but my belief when it came to religions is that the book was just all about don't do this and don't do yes. that. Yes, yes. No, no, no. The Quran, the Quran. I didn't know there was any sciences in that. The Quran I didn't believe is they believe in science. a guide for mankind. Mm -hmm. It's a manual, and the Quran makes that claim. All right. The Quran makes that claim. Allah says in the Quran. I want you to listen now. You're a musician, right? Yes, sir. I want you to listen now, yeah? Allah says in the Quran, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ أَلِفْ لَامِّيمِ ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابُ لَا رَيْبَ فِيهِ هُدًا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم مما رزقناهم ينفقون. First of all, you got an incredible set of lungs on you. <laughs> Second of all, that was beautiful. Listen to what Allah says. That was beautiful. Alif Lam Mim. This is a book about which there is no doubt. Okay. A guidance for the, those who are conscious 
of Allah, the Creator, who believe in the unseen, they establish prayer, and they spend charity out of what we have given them, right. what we've provided for them. And who believe in what has been revealed to you, O Muhammad, just talking to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and what was revealed, revealed to those before you. Okay. And of the hereafter, mm -hmm. they are certain in faith. Okay. Those are upon right guidance from their Lord, and it is those who are the truly successful. And then it goes on and on and on and on and on. Okay. And it guides you. It pure. How did you feel when I was reciting Quran? That was lovely. Do you know what it is? I've, I, <laughs> You're a musician. I'll even you. show. No, no. That's the maddest thing. I'll even show you my YouTube. I listen to people when they do that. Quran, like, yeah. The yeah, like, when, yeah. When they're singing, like doing that stuff. It's beautiful. It's always beautiful. The sounds always beautiful. Go on, it's a, it's, it resonates. It's a very lovely sound. Very lovely sound. Let me um. Let me, and they uh, can all sing. Thank you, my yeah, brother. And they can all sing. Okay. The word of Allah, bro. That's what we believe. Right, well, just so I'm not disrespectful, I've heard there's certain ways you can't lay this book. No, no, know. this is in English. This isn't the Quran. This is a translation of the Quran. Okay. Okay? The Quran is only one. This is a, no, uh, do you know what it is? We, I, I have to check because yeah, I've heard yeah, there's yeah. ways you can't lay the book. No, no, that, that's the Arabic. Okay. That's okay. the Arabic. That is the Quran. That's the Mus'haf. Okay. okay. Okay, the Mus'haf we have respect for. This okay. is the word of Allah. Okay. The, our creator. This is just translating it. This is a translation. Okay. So that you can understand it. So it's a duplicate. But not, not a not duplicate. Uh, just a translation. Oh, okay. Just a translation. Yeah? yeah. What I have recited, it's that in English. Okay. Or nice. the closest to, to that. Nice. If that makes sense. Yeah? That's another question. How come the words in the Quran are sung and not spoken? Because it's the word of Allah and we, we must beautify our. our ah, we must beautify the voice of Allah. Like the, the words of Allah. I say that with the way I feel. Rather than like. Well, actually, Elvis said this. Well, he said when <laughs> things. So I have to say it. I have to say it. No, I love him, bro. Uh -huh. Bad man. Uh -huh. No, but he says when things are when things are too uh, when things are too hard or when things are too uh, uh, harmful to say or scary to say, sing them. So that's how I take my music. When things thank you are too. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <bro. laughs> I just had to, I couldn't Charles, resist that. You know, my dad was counting chords somewhere. I'm Irish, that's why I'm from Monaghan. Tell me the point, Julia. What's a crackdown? What's a crackdown? What's a crackdown? I'm in first, daddy. He's got a picture of uh, Elvis. <laughs> I've got one in my hallway. I'll Gangster. tell you a funny story. My quote unquote godmother, growing yeah. up, she was uh, Aunt Ina. Yeah, yeah. And she lived across the, and we lived in the council state. Yeah, yeah. And she was across there, and she taught my mum when she first came into this country. Am I allowed to put this in my bag? Yeah, 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 that's calm. Here, let me hold your bottle for you. She taught my mum English when she first arrived in this country, right? Okay. So, no, 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 she's a little, five, little five foot two, five yeah, foot so Irish lady, four foot eleven, yeah? Bro, I picked up, they call me, they used to, they used to call me the backy paddy. At work, yeah. Let's call me the pack of paddy. Yeah, yeah, literally, bro. Literally, like at work. They used to call me that. But listen, bro. Lewis, it's been absolute an absolute pleasure. pleasure. No, Proper lads, handshake, thank though, bro. you, man. It's nice to see it. that nowadays. Do you, you know just what it is? I'm, I'm, do you know what it is? You'll see, if you've seen, ever seen me walk through here before, there's a lot of people. For me, and this is what I respect about what you've done. That's, this is a blessing. Is you, you've just bring me in to just give me something for, give me, give me a blessing. Whereas you see when people are on the street and they're screaming it in your fucking face and then it's like you get disrespected like the Lord Jesus. No, it's not even that I've walked through here, there was a guy that was there in a wheelchair and he was there talking about Jesus and very rare. And then when I ignored him and I looked at him and I looked away, he said, Yeah, you're gonna burn in hell for that. I was like, what? <laughs> what for not listening to you? Nah, but so you know the problem. Right, I just the it's, problem it's you've got. Like, I respect everyone's beliefs, so yeah. why can't you respect? Lewis, my, the problem you've got. I'm not me. telling you you need to listen to this. It's, 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 tell, you know what I mean? Respect, people, respect people, people probably get stereotyped. Um, they probably get. They probably feel a bit. What's Everyone's the word I'm like that. It's because I look like this. intimidated. Yeah, of course. You've got that intimidated. But, like, but we don't get intimidated. We're talking about, bro. That's good. Yeah, That's yeah. what I like. That's I don't what we do. That. Saw, look, I, I saw. Yeah, bro, walking along. Yeah. Man, bro, look at his feet, bro. Oh, man, I don't tell you what. I, we've, had we, we've had it. Don't do it. We've yeah, been. No, we've been, <laughs> we've been there, bro. Yeah, but listen, seeing my brother the way is there's no intimidation in that. I don't. I don't look at someone like even wherever they look. They've got their face covered up or they they like wearing a hood. That's not intimidation. You know, like the guy you said in the wheelchair. 
everyone's shouting and screaming and uh, you see the yeah, preachers. Right. You see, we're not on that. What we're on, you know why we do this, right? Yeah, of course. We're not here to, like, yeah. people think we're here to convert the whole world and get no. loads of numbers and sit there and a message, I respect exactly. that. I respect, I respect that. Message. Because, I respect ultimately, and I don't know what your conversation was, you know what I mean? But ultimately, you're a good conversation. Very good conversation. I'm going to probably repeat what you said. Ultimately, we're going to go to our freedom. And yeah. we know, with conviction, what is coming next. You're giving it's people bad. their help hands. It's a bad thing, Appreciate bro. That. It's bad. Bro, Lewis, do you, you know is it alright if I take your number? Yeah, Let's keep in right. touch, innit? Of course, man. Yeah? I want you to actually, you know what? Just listen to this. This is my. Uh, this is my. What uh, time is it? Because I've got to get into CX it's three before it closes. Alright, I've got a little bit of time. This is two, 1 minute 39 seconds. Just all listen right, to right. this guy, yeah? What is it? Oh, hold on, it's gone. Just one second. Listen to this guy, okay? Come on. My son's teacher. Wow. I can sleep to that. I can sleep to that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I felt it. I felt it. I have felt it. Is that not just amazing? That's love. That's love. No, I love it. That, that sound is always beautiful. Let me take your number, bro. That's we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna keep in touch. Inshallah. Hey.